Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Well, if your headphones are connected and no output sound, this tutorial is for you. Alright, so you can see the computer is notifying that yes, it is connected and everything is good. But when you set put on your headset or the headphone, it doesn't give you any sound, any output. Right corner where you see the speakers, do a right click and then go to sound settings. The moment you uh, select the sound settings, you need to go to this output, the very first option. Choose where to play sound. So if your uh, headphones are connected, just try to select your output device, the right speaker there. So your headphones should be connected as a speaker right there. And if you see your headphones there, just select it and see if you are getting the voice or not. All right. And also check the volume level. Is it like this or is it like muted? Check that as well. All right. And then you can also check with the input. Input is different thing, but even then we need to select the right device in the input. But we are looking for the output, right? So once you are done with this, scroll down and go with more sound settings and then see what exactly the playback speaker you have got. Just do a double click on that. Um, I just do a right click first and set as default communication device and then just do a right click. You need to select with the headphones, right? And uh, if, if it's connected, if it's showing you plugged in, just do a double click on that and go to levels and check the levels as well. Try to increase it and go to advanced le level. Make sure everything is checked. Click on OK and click on OK again. All right. One more thing which is which can be done is by doing a right click. And this time we will select open volume mixer and check all the output device. Select the output device input device correctly check the speakers the apps and then you can simply restart the computer and for most of us this will fix the problem and if it doesn't then click on the search icon type troubleshoot and you will find troubleshoot settings and then we need to select other troubleshooters and then you can simply go with the audio the most frequent one and it will also check for any problem which is there. It will try to let you know or try to fix it as well. All right. So if you find this tutorial helpful, if this tutorial has helped you or fixed your problem, please hit the like and subscribe. And do let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad if you do so. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day.